Welcome. My name is Dominic Chen. I'm a professor at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I will be your instructor for the entrepreneurship course. In module one, we will cover the basic of what is entrepreneurship. So what is entrepreneurship? Let's take a look of some of the textbook definition. Well, someone will say an entrepreneur is someone who undertakes innovation, finance and business acumen in an effort to transform innovation into economic goods. That's a very good definition. Let's look at another one. Uh, an entrepreneur is also someone who launch a new venture or enterprise and accept the full responsibility for the outcome. I stress the word here, full responsibility. Well, in other words, is someone who is willing to take risk to create a business that will generate a lot of economic goods. Now, in Asia in particular, failure is not an option. Well, for most people anyway. But if we look at Silicon Valley, which is a very successful place to generate lots of entrepreneurs, or if we look at like Israel, Tel Aviv, people often will say, you know, you have to fail quickly, frequently in order to succeed early. Now, this is actually very, very different in Asia because in Asia, usually failure is also very, very unforgiving. People will hate mention these or their CV. People don't like to be a failure. Now, however, for entrepreneur who is taking risk, right, this is not an issue, this is not a problem because there's no one you can, you can't actually be successful without failure. So this is something that in Asia, we are still trying to change the mentality. And someone else will say, you know, how to be an entrepreneur, we need to pursue opportunity with no regard in resources in hand. What does that mean? Well, it means, you know, when you start a business, you cannot possibly have all the resources ready. No one ever have resources ready when they start a company. But a true entrepreneur could manage whatever resource they have. They know what resource they lack and then they will go and find that resource. That's the spirit of an entrepreneur. Now, if you look at uh, people who want to be entrepreneur versus people who are working in a corporate, well, this diagram really, really actually tells the story. Some will say, you know, in a corporate, it's like a rat race. You know, people go work and day in and day out. They get a very, very steady job, a very steady career, but it's like a rat race where you're just doing the same thing day in, day out. As an entrepreneur, it's like pushing a rock up the hill. Yes, it is very, very difficult and you may get crushed every day. However, if you can ever reach the top, the scenery on top is beautiful. So you pick your life, right? Whether you want to be someone in a corporate, work in the same job day in, day out, or take on the challenge of becoming an entrepreneur and try to push something very, very hard, but the reward is very, very good. So why do people want to become entrepreneur? Well, there are many, many, many reasons. In Asia or China for that matter, it's because, well, first of all, people don't want to work for other people because someone has a great idea that they cannot wait and they want to try out the idea. I think it's most important that it's because someone has a passion for changing something. Maybe they want to change the world, maybe they want to change just a business model. No matter how big or small of the idea, I think passion for executing the idea is most important. Maybe someone wants to do something different Maybe someone just wants to be free, you know, be your own boss, report to no one but your customers. Maybe someone think that's the way they can control their own career. Or maybe someone that just simply want to become an entrepreneur to make a lot of money. Or someone that actually has no choice. By that, I mean, you know, sometimes in an economic downturn, it's not up to you, you know, it's, you have to create a job for yourself. So why not be your own boss and be an entrepreneur? Now, however, you must have heard of uh, many, many successful entrepreneurs. They will always tell you they didn't start the idea for the money. They always started the idea of the passion. I think it is true that 
when you actually follow your idea, the money will follow you.